In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Said to one another, Who can this be? Even the wind and the sea obey him. To worship God and to love our neighbor. And this very church exists with an altar at its heart. All of we can gather and eat of it. But this is my body, which will be given up for you. morning welcome to this holy mass and this holy mass is offered for Josie Kavana Daniel Holmes and also let us remember David Burns who is in Good Hope Hospital let us pray for his good health and also let us pray for Elena who is celebrating her birthday today and she is going to be three this year and also Lucas who had his birthday yesterday so we'll wish them at the end of the mass and also let us remember um, the noble soul of Her Majesty, our Queen Elizabeth II, and ask our Lord to grant her eternal rest and peace in the royal family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, today's readings, they are reminding us our God is a merciful and a compassionate God. So we all can bring our personal needs to our merciful and compassionate God, our own weaknesses, our sicknesses, whatever we have. So let us ask our merciful and compassionate God to bless us through this Holy Mass. Acknowledging all of our sins, let us say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults, 
Therefore I ask to bless to Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, and that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord spoke to Moses, Go down now, because your people whom you brought out of Egypt have apostatized. They have been quick to leave the way I marked out for them. They have made themselves a calf of molten metal and have worshipped it and offered it for sacrifice. Here is your God Israel, they have cried, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. I can see how headstrong these people are. Leave me now, my wrath shall blaze out against them and devour them. Of you, however, I will make a great nation. 
But Moses pleaded with the Lord his God. Lord, he said, why should your wrath blaze out against this people of yours, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with arm outstretched and mighty hand? Remember Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, your servants to whom you, by your own self, you swore and made this promise. I will make your offspring as many as the stars of heaven and all this land which I promised I will give to your descendants and it shall be their heritage forever. So the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. The word of the Lord. I will leave this place, leave this place and go to my father. I will leave this place, leave this place and go to my father. Have mercy on me, God, in your in your compassion blot out my offense Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt And cleanse me from my sin I will leave this place Leave this place and go to my father A pure heart create for me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, nor deprive me from your Holy Spirit. I will leave this place, leave this place. my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise my sacrifice is a contrite spirit a humble contrite heart you will not spurn I will leave this place leave this place and go to my father I will leave this place place and go to my father. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to T Timothy. I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has given me strength and who judged me faithful enough to call me into his service, even though I became a, a believer, even though I used to be a blasphemer and did all I could to injure and discredit the faith. Mercy, however, was shown me, because until I became a believer, I had been acting in ignorance. And the grace of our Lord filled me with faith and with the love that is in Christ Jesus. Here is a saying that you can rely on, and nobody should doubt, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. I myself am the greatest of them, and if mercy has been shown to me, it is because Jesus Christ meant to make me the greatest evidence of his inexhaustible patience for all the other people who would later have to trust in him to come to eternal life. To the eternal King, the undying, invisible, and only God, be honour and glory for ever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and the sinners were all seeking the company of Jesus to hear what he had to say. And the Pharisees and the scribes complained. This man, they said, welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them. What man among you, with a hundred sheep losing one, would not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the missing, missing one till he found it? And when he'd found it, would he not joyfully take it on his shoulders and then, when he got home, call together his friends and labors? Rejoice with me, he would say. I have found my sheep that were lost. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner than over 99 virtuous men who had no need of repentance. Or again, what woman with 10 drafters would not if she lost one? light a lamp and sweep out the house and search thoroughly till she found it. And when she found it, call together her friends and neighbours. Rejoice with me, she would say. I have found my drachma I lost. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing among the angels and the angel of God over all repentant sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, there is an old story that I'm sure is still funny. In the story, the phone rings and a little boy answers in a whisper. Hello. The caller says, Hi. Is your mom there? Yes. Can I talk to her? No. Why not? She is busy. What about your dad? Can I talk to him? No. He is busy. Well, is there anyone else there? My little sister. Is there anyone else? Another adult. Who? Oh, the police. Can I, talk to, can I talk to one of them? No. They are busy. Is there anyone else? Yes, the firemen. Can I talk to one of them? No, they are busy. Caller, good heavens. Your whole family is busy. The police and fire departments are there and they are busy. What's everybody doing? The little boy giggled and whispered they are looking for me. My brothers and sisters, today the church offers us another golden opportunity to reflect on God's mercy and compassion. This is fully revealed in His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. One important fact that runs through all the readings of this Sunday is the readiness of God to welcome and receive us irrespective of how much we have fallen and gone away from Him. In the first reading of today, we discover a God who is faithful to His verbs, 
he also de demonstrated that his love and mercy surpasses his anger and judgment. As a merciful and a compassionate father, God heard the prayers of Moses on behalf of his people. A very important lesson we must learn from this reading is the power of intercession for both ourselves and for others. Like Moses, the Christ we celebrate today continues to intercede for us every day. This is especially at the sacrifice of the Holy Mass. So we must not be tired of interceding for one another and for our world before our merciful and compassionate Lord. I don't know how far you believe in the intercession prayers, but they are very, very powerful prayers. That's why we always intercede for the nation or the leaders or our own families or those who are in need. And for example, if you see, during the COVID time, we all might have gave up our prior life. We all might have lost our patience by seeing people's death or maybe the uh, infections people get or the sickness or the dreadful uh, disease or the virus we got or we received. But very soon, we lost that dreadful disease. And God blessed us. And today we all are here in his presence. So my brothers and sisters, we must approach him in prayer always, reminding him of his promises as Moses did. And in today's gospel, Christ was accused of welcoming sinners. Through his action and parables, he demonstrated how merciful and compassionate he is towards us. Despite our sins and stubbornness, Christ is willing to welcome us back to himself. Through his merciful and compassionate heart, he is ready to make all things new for us again. So my brothers and sisters, like the prodigal son, it is time to accept this invitation it is time to return to the merciful and compassionate Lord whose mercy surpasses his judgment and anger. God has made our return very, very easy through our Lord Jesus Christ. So all we need is to realize this ourselves. So today, sincerely and humbly, we must make a very important decision. Like the prodigal son, I will leave this place and go back to my father. We must not be ashamed to return to God, our father, because his steadfast love never ceases and his mercy never comes to an end. So let us ask our Lord to bless us and give us his grace to be with him. Please stand for the creed and bidding prayers. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the virgin man, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. 
On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, with the confidence, we make our prayers to our merciful and welcoming Father. For Pope Francis and our bishops, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and lead the Church with love and compassion. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the leaders of our nations, especially our Prime Minister Liz Truss, that she may follow the footsteps of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the noble soul of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, that she may be received into the merciful presence of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For His Majesty King Charles, that he may be blessed with good health and wisdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have died recently, especially Vernon Clayton, Anne Smith, Christopher O'Neill, and Michael Bush, that they may come into the light of God's presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us ask Our Lady to bring our prayers before the presence of the Father. Hail Mary, Hail Mary full, full of, of grace, grace. The, Lord the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed Let are thee among women. women. And blessed, and blessed is the fruit, the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us in this, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make our private petitions in silence to God our Father. Generous and forgiving God, hear the prayers we make through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Jesus reminds you reminds us that God knows and God knows and loves each one of us and will search until he finds us if we should lose our way. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord acceptable sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy children. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in our kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal for having received the first fruits of the spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead we hope for an everlasting share in the paschal mystery and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. 
he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that a partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, our church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Her Majesty Elizabeth II, whom you have called from this world to your son. Grant that she who was united with your son in your death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your marriage mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cautious to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now let us submit all the people, those who are suffering from various sicknesses. Let us ask our Lord to touch them and heal them and grant them good health. And also in our own families, if anybody is sick, and whom we know, let us submit to the Lord. Seeking God's blessings and His healing touch, let us say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with the will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. 
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but will you say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O oh Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects, not our own desires, may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. I request you, please be seated. Two minutes, we have got some announcements, please. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, just a couple of announcements. Firstly, um, there's some cards around the church about um, the Alpha course starting on the 29th of September. Um, it's um, completely free to go to if you are at all interested in um, exploring your faith more, if you know somebody who may be interested in finding out more about um, the faith, then feel free to pass the card on. It's got Alex's contact details on if you are interested in going along to that. Um, the uh, relics of St. Bernadette are currently in the country and um, will be in, um, in the Midlands on the weekend of the 7th and 8th of um, October. Um, so on, um, they will arrive at St. Chad's Cathedral on the evening of Friday the 7th and then on Saturday the 8th they will travel to Hensford. Um, and we're looking at um, taking a group, if people are interested in going from the parish, um, after 12 o'clock Mass on Sunday the 9th of October. Um, so there's some lists at the back of the churches if anybody is interested in, um, in joining that. Um, and finally, um, Josh, who is one of our teenagers in the parish, um, is off to Kenya next year to support a charity project and um, to pay his way he is doing a 100 mile sponsored bike ride um, which Father Michael is supporting him with so um, he is around I believe to um, oh, <laughs> is there, mum's at the back um, to um, collect any sponsorship if anybody um, is able to sponsor him that would be great Thank you. Thank you, Annie. Thank you so much. So today we have got a, um, two kids, those who celebrated their birthday today, Elena and Lucas. So where is Elena? Lucas? Lovely. Yes. See, Elena is here. She's so courageous, you see. Lucas, you want to come? So Elena is celebrating her, uh, I think this year it will be the th three, I think. Yeah, three years, and Lucas maybe four. So we will wish them happy birthday singing. <laughs> Many more happy things of the day. May God bless you. <laughs> she enjoyed her birthday. <laughs> Clapping and dancing, really. Very joyful. It's yes, lovely. I thank you all for joining in this Mass. 
Um, I thank all the choir for beautiful singing today, really. Wonderful singing. Thank you so much, Annie, and Bob, and uh, all the group there. Um, I also thank Wycheck and all those who joined on online in this Mass. I thank, really, thank you all. And I thank you, Deacon uh, Brian and Pete and all of our beautiful children, those who served at the altar. I thank all of you. Um, I wish you all to have a lovely day and good week ahead. Please stand. So after the mass, we have got a tea and some snacks. So Anne Marie and Sam, they are there, and the whole family. So please join for the tea and snacks. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.